Hey everyone, Grim Chorizo here. Thanks for joining me for this week's Wrestling Roundup. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving this week. I am been sick basically all week, so I sound kind of shitty. But hopefully by next week, I'll be all better. So let's start off with the results from last Sunday's Survivor Series. On the pre-show, Goldust made a surprise return and he teamed up with Neville, the Dudley Boys, and Titus O'Neil and he defeated the team of The Miz, Stardust, The Ascension, and Bo Dallas in a 5-on-5 Survivor Series elimination match. Roman Reigns defeated Alberto Del Rio to advance to the finals of the tournament. Dean Ambrose defeated Kevin Owens to advance to the finals of the tournament. The team of Ryback, the Lucha Dragons, and the Usos defeated the team of The New Day, Sheamus, and King Barrett in a 5-on-5 elimination Survivor Series match. Charlotte retained the Divas title against Paige. Tyler Breeze defeated Dolph Ziggler. The Brothers of Destruction defeated the Wyatt family members, Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper. And Roman Reigns defeated Dean Ambrose to become the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. However, after the match, Sheamus cashed in his Money in the Bank contract and successfully became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. On Raw, The New Day basically made fun of country music for like five minutes and I loved it because I hate country music as well. Then they issued an open challenge for the tag team titles. The Lucha Dragons and the Usos both answered the challenge, but before the match started, the New Day canceled the open challenge. Charlotte and Paige had a rematch for the Divas title on Raw, but it ended in a double countout. Sheamus was introduced as the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion and the Champion of the Authority. On SmackDown, Dean Ambrose defeated Tyler Breeze and Dolph Ziggler in a triple threat match to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. On this week's NXT, Bayley retained the NXT Women's Championship against Eva Marie, but after the match, Nia Jax attacked Bayley. It was announced that at TLC, the main event will be Sheamus defending the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Roman Reigns in a TLC match. At NXT TakeOver London, Apollo Crews will take on Baron Corbin. On this week's NXT, return vignettes were shown for Sami Zayn, so he is expected to be returning very soon. This week, Solomon Crow asked for his release from NXT, and I believe it has been granted, so Solomon Crow no longer works with the WWE. Also, Brad Maddox has been released by WWE, and I honestly thought he was released like a, a year ago, but now he's officially released. Cesaro has apparently been working with a shoulder injury for the past two months, and it finally caught up with him. He had to have surgery, and he will be out four to six months. Randy Orton is currently out with a shoulder injury. Apparently, he also has neck issues, and he could be out for up to a year. So thanks for watching this week's episode of Wrestling Roundup. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will tune in next week. See you later. Damn.